Hey, this is Emily with the Wix Collective, and today we're going to talk about how to build a successful homepage in Wix. So let's get started. Okay, step one of creating a, a professional looking homepage in Wix is making sure that you have everything you need on that homepage. So before you even get started, let's go ahead and take a look at the list and we'll see if you have everything in place. So I'm gonna share this little presentation with you. We're gonna work through these eight things step-by-step, step, okay? So first things first, you need your logo, name, and headline available ASAP on your site. So visitors to your site need to be able to comprehend the purpose of your business in under three seconds. Otherwise, they gone. They're gonna to be too confused about what's going on and they're just gonna leave, okay? So you need to just be really clear and concise right up front. So that means logo, top corner or somewhere in the header. Then on your hero image or right at the top of your website, you need to say exactly what you do in very clear and concise terms. We're gonna look more into this later. Wow, it's really thundering outside. <laughs> okay, next is a sub headline or subtitle. So this is a supporting sentence or two below your headline that will support your headline and explain your business and how it operates and what it can offer your customer. So for example, here's a sales page I created for flexible fasting. You can see we have the flexible fasting logo and then it says lose weight, gain health, exercise not required, no food restrictions. So that basically tells you, hey, here's what I do. Here's kind of how I do it. And then it says never count calories or macros again. So those are some supporting sentences. And you can tell by the flexible fasting membership, this is something that they are selling to their customers. So join our membership and here's how we fulfill our promise of our, you know, our headline. So be thinking of that right now, before you even get started in the editor, start thinking, what is my title? Like my slogan, what is my headline and sub headline. Okay. Sorry. There's a big flash of lightning. Super cool. So next what you need on your homepage, supporting images and video. This is so important because if you don't know this already, our culture and world is extremely visually driven. Okay. So you need to find the perfect images that describe what you do. So that means you're either going to have to look for some stock images or better yet, have some really good, clean, clear images of what you do to describe to your customer in under that three seconds, what you do. So let's take a look at this one. This is a site I built for the Rustic Patch. It is a um, home decor store that also has um, availability for products online. So as you can see here, we've got the owner standing outside her front door of her, her um, store. And then below we have pictures of the products. Okay. So instantly I'm like, oh, okay. This is the lady who owns the store and these are her products. So before I even read the title and the headline, I know I'm in the right place. Next, clear menu navigation. This is so important because you need to create a clear process for people to maneuver through your website. They get lost, they're gonna leave. They don't have time to mess with your messy menus, okay? So here we have, this is another website I've created for a delicious beef website. So if you're interested in some delicious beef, check it out. But we have here products and pricing. When you click on it, it drops down. Shop now, drop site locations, market schedule. Keep this main menu as clear and simple as possible. So I encourage you right now, again, before you even open up the editor, make like a map of your site. Here's the process and the way that I want people to work through the site. So I have my homepage about products and pricing. Get a good clear idea before you even get started. And that will help you a lot to just keep things really clean, simple and um, create a really good user experience, okay? Things, okay, next thing, number five, calls to action. So you're the one who tells your visitors where they go next, either to a page, an offer, or a product. They are there to find out more about you. Do not make it hard for them to find out more about you. So for example, on my site, I've got work with me. It's like, oh, okay, that's the action I want them to take. Also, here's work with or consulting, join the collective. So it's like, hey, here's what I do and here's your next step. So that is really, really important. So decide what your first calls to action would be, your big calls to action, right? 
is everybody going to click on these calls to action? No, not everybody's going to want to work with me. They're just kind of finding out what they want to know, and they might come back and book a call. So that leads to benefits and features. Most people are interested in what you do because of how it can help them, right? Or like what products you offer. So again, this is on the flexible fasting site. We've got what you'll learn in this membership, what you'll get in this membership. Features are different from benefits, okay? Benefits is like how this is going to change your life. And features are more of, here's like the actual physical product you're gonna get. So what you'll learn, this is a benefit. You're gonna learn how to improve your health. You're going to learn how to improve mental clarity, how to banish food guilt, where then it's like the features, you're gonna get access to all of our training videos. You're going to get a guided success path, members only access, all of these things. Now it's important. Our reasoning, is it reasoning? Our brains are like, hey, buy it for the features, but really people are um, persuaded by benefits. So it's like, how is this going to benefit me, make me a better person, make my experience better, make my business better, whatever. So play hard, not play, that sounds bad, like play hard on those benefits, but really narrow down what those benefits are because that's going to be what sells you or your product social proof. So make sure to use testimonials if you're featured in any magazines, articles, or websites. Um, that will just give you so much more credibility. So it's like, okay, these people say all this, but are they trustworthy? You can see their testimonials. Okay, this person's life really has changed because of this product or service. Or you can be like, oh, they were like in better homes and gardens. Wow, that's amazing. So if you have any sort of social proof that you can put on your homepage, do it, okay? Also, I wanna make a side note that if you do have, and if you've been featured in a, a website or a blog or an article or something, make sure you have a link to that so we can link to that on your homepage and that will create more SEO compatibility and it will help your site pop up more because it's like, oh, this person's site, even though they're a new site, is connected to this really reputable site. So there, <laughs> next. Number eight, no, this is, Sorry, these are testimonials. This is my, you know, kind words from my friends. So that's my ex explanation there. This is one of my favorite ones. Number eight, resources or opt-ins. So remember when I talked about a few steps back about calls to action? So those are like your big things, like buy now, sign up now, join the wait list, okay? Those are big commitments for someone because they're like, okay, I'm committing to like spending money with you. So I'm ready. There are going to be people that are not quite there yet, but you don't want to lose those people, okay? You want to create a connection with them so that you can market to them even more and like prove yourself even more that they will be able to sign up in the near future for your product or purchase your product. So now that someone has taken the time to check out your site, don't let them leave without offering them something in return for their email address. We've got a whole video and a whole series on the Looks Collective about email marketing. Email marketing, I'm just going to say really quick, so beneficial, best way to reach people. Those are your top fans. Okay. So again, your Facebook followers, 6% of them see your post. When it comes to email marketing, 20 to 30% actually open the email and look. So it's like, why not just get people's emails and then market to them? Okay. Really, really important. So what does that look like? free resources. Hey, this is on that fasting side again. Here's how you can get started today for free. Sign up for our quiz. Find out how you are, what kind of fasting style you are. Sign up for our fat energy calculator. Find out how many days of fat energy are on your body. Try our free challenge. So as soon as they click on one of these things, I ask for their email and a form. As soon as they fill that out, they're taken to their challenge. They are emailed their calculator. They are emailed a link to the quiz things like that. So it's like, Hey, here's some value. Can I have your email? And you don't, and people are like, Oh, I don't want to miss out on that. Yeah. It's free. Sure. Because you need to build your email list. So, so important. Okay. So things you need on your homepage, logo, name, headline, subtitle, supporting images and videos. So important. Clear menu navigation, calls to action. So 
get those get those created now benefits and features social proof and resources and opt-in so these are huge things that need to be on your site because yeah you can have a beautiful site but if you don't have these you're not going to see interaction you're not going to see conversions you're not going to see sales so i'm telling you right now please sit down get organized get these things in place so that you can have an effective wix website Awesome. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope this has been helpful for you, whether you're considering Wix or you have another website that you're building with a different developer. But if you're interested in learning how to grow your online business by building a professional Wix website with monthly support, I'm there for you with the Wix Collective. So go to the wixcollective.com and join this monthly group where I coach people one-on-one -on -one how to build amazing Wix websites. Wix is an incredible website development software. And I would love to answer your questions and help you to be successful. So again, that's the Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.